Shalom. This week we are reading Parshat Bamidbar, Baruch Hashem. We have begun the book of Numbers, the fourth book of the Torah. Literally, in the desert, the book of Bamidbar is also called the book of Numbers. It was in the second year of the 40 years of wandering in the desert that Moshe commanded children of Israel to take a census of all of Israel except the Levites. You know the portion of Bamidbar invariably is always read before Shavuot, which is of course the second of the pilgrimage festivals that celebrates the giving of the Torah, the Sinai revelation, and there is actually a concept that we find. Many of the great sages of Israel have written that there is a deep secret that can be understood from the first passage of each of the portions of the Torah, and even more so from the opening passage of each new book. The book of Bamidbar, the book of Numbers, begins as follows. God spoke to Moses in the desert of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month of the second year since they left the land of Egypt, saying. You know, there's actually a connection between the census that was taken in the desert of Sinai and the giving of the Torah. Our sages tell us that the concept of the desert in which the Torah was given is very important for us just to understand. Why was the desert chosen by the Almighty for the giving of the Torah? And basically, to summarize everything that they say, they tell us that we need to purify ourselves so that we are on the level of the desert. That is to say, devoid of distractions and able to receive God's Word in a certain level of purity represented by the vastness, the void of the desert. So too, Mount Sinai, which was actually not the tallest mountain, but really the humblest and the smallest of the mountains, that is the mountain that was chosen by God to humble us totally in the presence of God. And let's go a little deeper as we read this week the portion of Babidbar and come closer in time to festival of Shavuot, the giving of the Torah. And let's understand again, purification process of the 600,000 soul, 600, souls of Israel that's taking place during the 49-day period between Passover, Pesach, and Shavuot brings us to the 50th day. And then, when we receive the Torah at Mount Sinai, that 50th day saw the people of Israel becoming pure vessels to receive, to receive God's Word. There's actually a great secret in the words Bamidbar Sinai, in the Sinai Desert. For the two words, Bamidbar Sinai also contain the letters to two other words, which form a key to our, our understanding, foundations of Torah and our belief. Because if you look at the word Bamidbar, it also spells the words Diber Bam, which literally means he spoke of these words. And of course, in the Shema Yisrael, from Deuteronomy 6, the Hero Israel Prayer, which we recite daily, God commands Israel, Vidibar Tabam, and you shall speak of these words. What is the connection between the Shema, Vidibar Tabam, God commanding us, you shall speak of these words, and the opening passage of the book of Bamidbar, where we are being told that Hashem spoke to Moshe in the Sinai Desert at the Tent of Meeting. What was it that He spoke? He spoke of these words, Bamidbar vidibar tabam, diber bam. He spoke of these words. In other words, the essence of our speech should be words of Torah, and God only commands that which He fulfills. So God also spoke words of Torah, and He asks us to speak the same words that He speaks. Our words are His words. Even on a deeper level, the concept of gematria, the numerical value of each word, shows us that the numerical value of the gematria of the word Bamidbar is 248, which is the number of positive commandments in the Torah concept that our sages teach us that the foundation of the 248 positive commandments of the Torah depends on our words. When we speak the words of God, Vidibar Tabam, we are preparing ourselves essentially to hear God's word. On an even deeper level, look at the word Sinai. The word Sinai, the Sinai Desert, each of the letters of the word Sinai actually begins to unfold the divine revelation before our eyes. The first letter, Samach, equals 60. This stands for the 60 myriads, or the 600,000 souls 
of Israel that stood at Mount Sinai. The next letter, Yud, equals 10, which is, of course, commandments on the tablets of the law that we received at Sinai. The next letter is Nun, 50, which, of course, is the culmination of the 49-day period of purification. 50th day, the 50th level, which is Shavuot itself, and the final Yud in the word Sinai, the first letter of God's name, Hashem, the God who revealed himself at Mount Sinai. So, time and space, divinity, all unite on Sinai as God, the Torah, and Israel become one.